All right, it's my pleasure to uh, welcome you to the uh, next edition of the Shap Chat. We're really uh, blessed to have uh, Jason Witten here uh, today uh, visiting us for our event in, in Midland. Jason, welcome to uh, LCU in Midland. Yeah, I'm glad to join the crew here. And <laughs> you guys got some great alumni here. In you Midland. bet, you, absolutely. Thank you so much. We, we always ask our guests four, the same four questions, so we want to do that uh, tonight. And the first question is, what's your favorite word and why? My favorite word is stick to itiveness. I think it embodies everything that I've had to overcome in my life. Uh, very many times there was chances for me to quit or to give up or for people to give up on me. And the ability to stick to it and to stay after it time and time again is what allows us to get on the other side of it. And so I think as a culture we need to do it, but certainly as individuals uh, to go where we want to go and to chase that dreams and not to give up to adversity. Uh, it's been one of my favorite words and something that I preach to myself time and time again throughout my career. We have a project going at LCU right now. It's uh, fostering tenacity in our students and uh, exactly the same idea. Being able to overcome adversity is so important for life skill, much less athletics. Absolutely. Yeah. Second question is, is what gives you hope for the future? As you look ahead, a lot of bad news in the headlines and lots of reasons to perhaps to despair. What gives you hope for the future? Well, I think there's so many things trustworthy is a word that I think of that gives me hope. Um, I trust the people around us, but more than anything else, it's my relationship with Christ. I mean, that's what provided all hope for me, uh, the, the story for me to be broken and to be able to come over through that. And um, look, we all have different platforms. We all have different stages. But for me, the, I, I realized fairly early in my life through very many challenging circumstances from, from my family that God had a plan for me. Mm. And I think that always provided hope and it allowed me to hit my head on the pillow, having a lot of confidence <laughs> and understanding my appreciation for God's grace. Yes, I oh, appreciate that. That's so, so encouraging. When, when you uh, think about the people in your life, those that have made an impact on you, is there someone that jumps to mind that's an inspiration for you that kind of keeps you going forward when you need someone to, to encourage you forward? Yeah, I've had so many great role models in my life. At an early age, uh, my grandfather was my high school football coach and led me to the church and the Lord and a relationship and was just the greatest mentor I could have. Uh, he's the greatest man that I know, how he treated his coworkers, his wife, um, everybody in the community. Uh, he just, he was a great role model. But I've had so many coaches that have poured into me. My wife's been a big supporter of my career uh, every step of the way. But if I had to pick to one, my grandfather early on taught me so many life lessons. Still this day, he's walked every uh, step with me, caught every pass. <laughs> and, and more than anything else, he's encouraged me when I was down. Mm. And uh, he always believed that there was a better side of me, that I could, could overcome it. And uh, I'm forever grateful for that because now I get to pass that down to my oh, kids. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm seeing that blessing pay it forward that he did for us. Yeah. And he has a heart of gold. Man, I love that. That is really, that is really cool. Our last question is, we have a community of students, 18 to 22 year olds, most of them. And uh, I'm wondering if there was one piece of advice you'd want to give uh, to our student community at LCU, what would it be? I think I would just tell them that the, the, the greatest attribute I can think about being a part of in my life is being a part of a team. Mm. And they're that as a, as a student body. And with that, I would challenge them to truly understand the meaning of service above self. Yes. And when you have the confidence to really look at something and say that I'm gonna give my time, uh, my friendship, mm -hmm. and, and really have a service heart, uh, it's amazing not only the difference you're gonna make in those folks' life and, and the community and the school, but you're gonna see your life changes because mm -hmm. there's, there's no better feeling in my life than thinking of the times that I gave and the joy that comes from that. So I, I'd also encourage them to have the confidence to be critical of themselves yes. as they grow at a critical age yes. and uh, being able to give something bigger than themselves. Yes. It'll be, when they look back, they'll appreciate it because uh, I know for me, just being newly retired, <laughs> uh, my being a part of a team is the greatest thing that I can ever say uh, throughout my career. Yeah, oh, I love that. That's a great call to community, to sacrificial uh, living, and to service. What a great uh, way to end our Shap Chat. Thank you, Jason, for joining us today. All right, thanks for having me on. Yeah.